Hi, I'm Siddharth and in this screencast we'll see how you can create a simple wiki application using Django. The first thing you'll need to do is get Django, go to djangoproject.com and download it. Once you've installed Django, you can then start off with the application. The first thing we need to do is create the project. So we use the Django admin command to do that. I'm going to call the project wikicam because this project was initially done for the wikicam event. So what this does is it creates a wikicam folder and puts a bunch of files in there. The file we want to look at now is manage.py which provides some administration tasks from the command line. So we say start app wiki. This creates some more stub files. So we can see here the wikicam we've got three files settings manage URLs and when we did the start app it created the wiki directory with some more stub files models and views so going back to wikicam the first thing we need to do is set up the settings we're going to set up the database settings so here we go scroll right to the top you can choose your database engine I'm going to use SQLite and the database name wiki.db and because SQLite doesn't have username and passwords we leave all that blank and then scroll right down to the end under installed apps we add our application wikicamp.wiki and here are some other standard applications which Django installs by default we can probably get rid of some of them we don't need it for this application right so we have set up the settings next we'll go down and edit the models file so what the models file does is it allows you to define your models in python code and how django works is it looks at your models from the python code and derives the database tables from that plus you can use your model object to access do gets updates without writing any SQL. So we'll define our class because the wiki is just a collection of pages. We have we'll call it page and inherit from Django's model class. A page has two fields. One is a name, the name of the page and the content. So we'll create that. We also set the primary key to be true for this field. So when Django creates a database tables, it will set the name field as the primary key. And we say that the content can be blank. So we said blank or true. That's our model we go back and if we go to manage and tell it to sync the database it then creates all the tables looking at our models and you can see here it's created a table wiki page that's the table to store our data and Django also has an inbuilt development server which we are going to use now so I say run server Seven, eight thousand. Let's see if the server is up. It is up, so that's good. So now that our server is up, we can go back. The next step is to define the URLs and map them to some functions. So you do that by editing URLs.py. We're going to give the URLs in the form of regular expressions and map them to functions so we say wikicam slash so what this says is it will convert this into a named parameter
so here we have a regular expression it says wikicam slash whatever store this in the page name variable and uh, if you get a url of this type send it along to the wikicam dot wiki dot views dot edit no, view page function so if we get this url it will get mapped down to the view page function and let's just copy this and then if we say we go to this url slash edit then send it along to the edit page function and save send it to the save page function so we have three urls in our application view edit and save we've just mapped them out let's go back to our server wikicam slash start so it says view does not exist view page so it's got the url it's mapped it it sees that it should be mapped to view page function but we haven't written that function yet so let's do that now so we put all our views in the views.py file let's create our view page function we get two parameters request that's always sent it has details about the request and page name this is extracted from the url so what we're going to do is page is equal to page or objects get pk equal to page name what this line does is page is our model class that we defined previously it uses that model class to get the page name out of the database so it searches the database is the primary key equal to page name if it finds it it will be stored into page but if it doesn't find it it will throw an exception so we need to catch that page that does not exist so if the page doesn't exist then we need to show the user a screen saying blah 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 the page doesn't exist do you want to create a new page so what we'll do now is return render to response so what render to response does is you can specify a html file and you can specify a dictionary so the dictionary has a mapping of name and values and your html file can reference these names and django will then render the template using these values so we need to create that file create.html which we'll do in a couple of minutes first let's get these sorted out from wikicamp.wiki.models import page from Django dot shortcuts import render to response. All right, so let's go back here and it's given us an error in line number nine. Hmm, where's line nine? Error turn render to response looks okay oh here we go okay so let's run that again and now it says the template doesn't exist because the create.html we haven't yet written it so we'll do that now back to settings and in settings we got to tell it where we can find the template files so in the template dirs we'll put it wiki cam slash templates so we tell django to look in this directory for all the files that we want let me just check the directory name now it's projects okay so we we'll, let's create that directory here templates there we go 
now in this directory we can dump in all our HTML files which are to be rendered so the first one we need is create.html that we are using in the view let's just fill that up so we'll create a simple HTML page which will just tell the user like the page you want it does not exist so do you want to create a new page and you can see here in these double flower brackets you can reference any variables passed from uh, your python code so let's just quickly create this page this page does not exist do you want to create so like we said to edit the page we have a URL so I'm gonna put that URL in here wikicam slash page name slash edit right and say create so we'll give him a URL where he can then go ahead and create the page now we have everything so there you go start the page does not exist do you want to create so if I click this it's going to now take me to start slash edit which uh, it says now it, for this URL it tries to search for the edit page function which we haven't written so let's go back and write it def edit page request comma page name and now in edit page what we want to do is show the user a page with a text box where he can type in anything he wants so again we'll search the database for the page if it exists we have to pre-populate the text area with the contents of the existing page if the page is new it doesn't exist we'll just leave it blank so we'll do that again get the page out of the database page or objects get. and we can take out the content equal page dot contents so since page is that model we defined earlier it has two fields so you can access the database columns by just accessing it as a field and if the page doesn't exist we'll set the content to blank and we'll we'll send it along to edit.html and we'll pass in the content as well so there we go we've got the content we've got it let's reload this page right so now it can't find edit.html because we haven't written it yet so we do that edit.html blah 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 title page name editing and the body we give a little form we'll set it to post slash save so once this form is submitted it will be sent to the save URL and in the form we we'll say text area name equal to content Many columns 60 so it looks reasonably decent and we'll put the content in here if it exists obviously the first time round it's not going to and we need to have a submit button so we'll just create that in here equal to save page 
form slash body slash html so that's our edit page here we go and there you go we've got a text box we've got the save page and it says editing start so we can now put in some content here this is the start page but we can't click the submit button yet because we haven't yet implemented the save URL this URL so if we want to save this page we're going to have to do that and uh, let's do that now so that that URL is mapped to the save page function if you look at the urls.py from before again we try we see if the page already exists if it already exists we'll override the contents otherwise we'll need to get a new page page name page dot content equal to okay so now we need to get the content out of the form so the form data is stored in the request parameter as a dictionary so that's how we get it out and set page that content to it and if the page does not exist then we create the page so page equal to page call the constructor name equal to page name content equal to content that's it and then we save the page and now once you save the page we have to go back to viewing that page so instead of render to response we need to create a redirect to go back to the view page so that's what we're gonna do right now so http response redirect okay so it's going to redirect back to the original and let's just import that and now when we save the page it's going to redirect so it's going to call the view page again except that this time the page will be found so we have to handle the normal flow here and this time we'll say render to response instead of calling create.html we'll call view.html pass in the page name and the content and here we have say content equal to page dot content so we take the page out of the database get the content value and call view dot html and uh, we now have to create view dot html view dot html so let's just edit it out So it's like start, but this time we have to show the actual content. So we'll put that in here. And uh, we have to also give them the option of editing the page if they want to change it later on. So we'll put back the URL uh, of the edit page. and that's that okay let's try to save this page there you go it's saved it you can see that the URL has redirected to the view page URL and the view page has displayed the page now if you click edit page 
it should go back to the edit page but oh we have an error okay this is, this is a simple one to fix where's views there we go edit page so this variable is wrong okay let's do that again yeah so this time the content has been pre-populated and we can put in some more content this is more content let's save this and you can see that the page has been saved you'll also notice that if you want to put in anything useful like formatting we got to type in HTML directly right so this is not an ideal situation we'll let's just fix this you can see it's just rendering the HTML directly most wikis they have their own formatting language which allows you to format text without typing HTML and we want our wiki to have that as well right so we're going to use the markdown module markdown is one of those uh, formatting languages so what this markdown module will do is it will transform anything written in markdown and convert it to HTML so we'll call that here to transform the content and uh, let's just edit this page so this is markdown syntax and you can see that it is automatically converted to a list and we can go to any other page as well new page it says new page does not exist create yes I want to create new page save it and there it is so if I go to start there's the start page if I go to new page there's the new page so you can create pages you can view pages you can edit pages basically everything you can do in a wiki you can do it with markdown syntax and uh, you can do all that it's pretty simple it's just a few lines of code three functions each function around five to six lines and a couple of uh, templates pretty small templates and there you have it a wiki with markdown support and that's the end of the screencast i hope you enjoyed it you can get in touch with me on my website thanks